Your bank account can take a huge hit when it comes to buying medication. So if you're ready for even more strategies on how to save money on your medication, then keep watching. Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Graham Dersna. Welcome to Bite Size Medicine, where we learn about common medical topics so you can take control of your health. While you're watching, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Let's get started. The previous video introduced five tips for saving money on your medication. This video will cover two additional advanced techniques that will save you thousands of dollars over your lifetime, and not just when buying medication, but with other purchases like groceries. One requires a little math, so get out some paper and a pencil and we'll work through these strategies together. Then at the end of the video, I'll give you one more strategy that can make these tips two times better, which doubles your savings. We'll first learn the two strategies and then we'll work through the math. The first is to buy generic, no name or store brand medication. These products are a great option for saving money because they use the exact same active ingredients as brand name medications, but you don't pay for the brand name. Next time you're at your pharmacy, ask the pharmacist if there is a generic version of the medication you're picking up and compare the prices. You'll be surprised at how much cheaper the generic option is. The next strategy is to buy your medication in bulk. If you know you're going to take a medication for several months, buy a three, six, or 12 month supply up front because this will be much cheaper than buying one month at a time. The one issue with this strategy is you'll need to be able to afford the larger cost up front, but it will save you money in the end. To test these strategies, I went to one of my local pharmacies to see the prices for myself. I chose to compare two common pain control options, Tylenol, which is acetaminophen, and Advil, which is ibuprofen. These are the prices for brand name versus the generic option at every pill bottle size I could find. As you can see, the generic option is cheaper at every amount. There was even a deal with the 225 pill bottle of acetaminophen, and finding deals was one of the strategies from the previous video. Now for a couple definitions and the little bit of math to show the power of buying in bulk. The retail price is the total price you pay for a product. For example, if you take the 24 pill bottle of Tylenol to the cash register, it will cost $6.29 plus tax. The most important part of the video is this next definition and how to calculate it. It's called the unit price. The unit price is the price you pay for each individual item within a bulk product. So in this case, the unit price is the price of each pill in the bottle. As you start to buy in bulk, the unit price or the price of each pill goes down because it's cheaper to produce and sell in bulk. To find the unit price, you divide the retail price by the number of items in that product. Here is the table of brand name prices. Let's practice finding the unit price together. We'll only use two decimal places in our answers. The retail price for the 24 pill bottle of Tylenol is $6.29. Divide 629 by 24 to get $0.26 per pill. To convert that to cents, just multiply by 100. So 0.26 times 100 equals 26 cents per pill. So one pill is 26 cents. The entire bottle is $6.29. Let's do another. The retail price of the 225 pill bottle of Tylenol is $18.49. Divide 1849 by 225 to get $0.08 per pill. Convert it to cents by multiplying by 100, and it is 8 cents per pill. To see why this is so powerful, if you tried buying 225 pills using the bottles of 24 pills, you would need about 9 bottles, and it would cost $56.61. That's more than a 300% difference in the price for the same number of pills. So it is much cheaper to buy one bottle of 225 pills up front. Here are the answers for the other price options. Now here is the table for the generic options. Pause the video and try to fill in the rest of the table by yourself for practice. Then when you're ready, press play to see the answers. 
Not only is buying in bulk more effective, but buying generic options in bulk is extremely valuable and it can save you a huge amount of money. Try calculating the unit price next time you're comparing two different bulk products to see which one is actually more cost effective. Some stores will even put the unit price beside the retail price on the shelf so you don't have to use a calculator. For staying until the end, here is one more advanced strategy you can use. It's called splitting. Some medications can be prescribed at a higher dose, but cost the same as the lower dose. So you can buy the higher dose prescription and cut the pills in half using a pill splitter. This effectively cuts the cost of your medication in half every month, and the pill splitter is just $1 from the dollar store. But not all medication can be split. Discuss this strategy with your doctor before trying it, and they will determine if the pill can be split safely. Before you go, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let me know if you have any questions, have a personal experience in this area that you'd like to share, or have ideas for a future video. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time for another delicious bite of medicine.